Sully the Seahorse. Down in the depths below shimmering tides lived a young seahorse who wanted to hide. Sully was so very tiny and small, he didn't feel very special at all. Oh, how he longed to be good at one thing. Sully just wished to be fast or to sing. Days were quite tough for the seahorse at school. He was known as a loser. Yes, sea life was cruel. The day had arrived that Sully so feared. The others loved it and thought he was weird. What could be happening? Just what might it be? Waves of excitement whooshed fast through the sea. Daisy the dolphin was humming a note. Pufferfish Pete was fine-tuning his bloat. Practicing dance moves and tuning guitars, it was the annual games called Sea School Stars. The contest starts soon, reminded Miss Trout. Sully felt worried and started to shout. Do I have to take part, miss? Please say no. Yes, she replied. You should give it a go. Honk went the horn. Can you please get in place? Miss Trout said. Time for swimmers, big race. Sully cried, no, I'm going to lose. Daisy just laughed and looked very amused. On your marks, ready, get set, go. Sully set off, but he was moving so slow. Susie the swordfish shot into the lead, but ouch, her long bill got caught in seaweed. Wilbur the whale was the first pass to post. Ha, I'm the winner, he started to boast. Sully so wished to be swift like the whales with big wide flippers and super strong tails. I'm not so special, I'm just not that fast. And yes, you guessed it, poor Sully came in last. Daisy, of course, won the singing cup match. Her notes were so piercing, some turtle eggs hatched. Ollie was crowned magician of the year. Sully wished he could make shells disappear. Then it was time for the dancing contest. Miss Trout said, please, can you just do your best? Sully decided to give it a try. He took a deep breath and tried not to cry. On your marks, ready, get set, go. Sully was dancing, but he had no flow. Just then, a huge shadow cast a dark cloud over the stage on the dancers and crowd. Poised up above was a boat hunting prey, hoping to grapple a catch of the day. Splash went the diver deep down into the sea, aiming to catch a young seahorse or three. These tiny creatures are wanted as pets. Watch out, little Sully, here comes the net. Closer and closer, the diver did swim, heading for Sully, whose chances were slim. Then something quite simply stunning took place. Better than singing or winning a race, Sully changed color before their shocked eyes. Swordfish and dolphin just stared in surprise. On your marks, ready, get set, go. But this time, Sully wasn't so slow. As quick as a flash, his armor changed shade. He started to blend with the background and fade. Sully had camouflaged and turned a pale green. He hid in sea reeds and couldn't be seen. The diver gave up, he paddled away, back to the boat with no catch for the day. Sully came out when it was safe and clear. All the sea creatures let out a big cheer. He took center stage, they looked on in awe. Master of camouflage, encore, encore. Changing from greens to be like the sea reeds to sparkling bright blues as deep as the seas. For the very first time, Sully felt proud. Seahorses are special, he laughed out loud. From that day on, he no longer did wish to be a huge whale or a super fast fish. Sully was a special, he wasn't so weak, plus he never lost at hide and seek. Please do not think you should win all the time. Just give your best and you'll sparkle and shine. We're all special in our own unique way. Believe in yourself, you will be okay. 
Don't be afraid to stand out from the crowd. You are amazing. Stand tall and be proud. On your marks, ready, get set, go.